Okay, thanks for joining us today. Um, as you can see, we're looking at a rifle. Um, nothing special about it. If you're familiar with firearms or an enthusiast, you probably already recognize it. It is a Rossi 92 lever action. This happens to be in 45 Colt or 45 Long Colt or 45 LC, as some will call it. It's a 45 Colt. Um, anyway, the video is really not about this particular rifle, but wanted to showcase a product that is available for many different rifles. The reason why I chose this one is it's a very value, uh, you get a lot for what you pay for as far as for the Rossi. Now, the gun has its flaws. This particular one's pretty much all sorted, but it's a good price point. Um, I got this at Bud's for like $4.40 um, at the gun shop online. You can find them for $4.99 prior locally, so not a huge savings. Uh, but for a lever action, really, really good uh, starting point. And the reason why I chose this is because things to improve on it uh, is, you know, putting a nice little sling on here. And if you have a Rossi, or other um, lever actions for that matter, there's not a whole lot of options unless you want to drill into the stock, that kind of thing. So, you know, you could drill back here, and you could drill up there, and put yourself a sling on it. Well, I didn't want to do that. Even though this gun is cheap, I, I don't like to drill into new guns. Uh, you know, I'll modify the internals, all that, but I like to keep the stocks. In fact, I even finished this stock. It, it doesn't come this nice. I did some uh, staining and some true oil on it. Got a little ready to go. And I don't want to mess any of that up, and I want to be able to go back to original if I don't want to put a sling on there. So today, we've got the harness style sling from Brass Stacker. Picked this up, and also picked up a cartridge bandolier. So I can put some, some rounds in there. So I just want to show you this system. Um, I haven't installed it yet, so this might be a little bit of a learning experience for, for both of us. But, again, it's a harnessed um, sling. So I assume this yep, snaps. So there's no drilling at all. And the front, we'll show you that portion when we get to it, actually. But in the rear, we're going to actually attach the rear right now, and then we'll change the, ang the camera, ang excuse me, camera angle, and we'll attach the front. So the rear, so I've got the harness here. Real nice leather. Now they have different color options. They've got lighter leather. I went for the, the chocolate leather and I went for the brass straps. They've got shiny, you know, they've got different options. But this is the uh, particular area uh, that I wanted to, you know, the kind of look I wanted to go for. So this is what I chose. So you open it up and we'll slide our rear of our stock into it and snap it on. on there pretty good actually. So there's the rear of the sling and then we'll move the camera and we're going to install the front. How easy this is. We'll be right back. All right we are back. If you decide to go with the optional bandolier be sure you put this on before you start working on the front. And to do so you'll notice here you've got your swivel but on the back you've got a screw. So what you do is loosen it up and then you can, so this is not a rivet or anything like that, it's actually two piece, slide that out and then you can slide this through the bandolier. It makes it a lot easier, um, about the only way you can get it through that bandolier. And also another little tip, which I should have showed installation of the bandolier, just slides through there so it's not really anything that requires much how to, but be sure to put the ammunition, the cartridges in there beforehand, uh, it will make your life a lot easier because this is quality, it's a quality bandolier, so it's pretty tight. And in order to get that over there, you're kind of snagging on some of these loops. So if you put all the ammunition in there, it, it lifts those loops up and it allows you to slide it in a little easier. So that's just a little, uh, little word of, excuse me, word of advice for you. So also in the bag, aside from the, the the sling, the actual harness, you get your hardware here to mount to the front. And you've got two different styles, actually. Two different styles of hardware, it would appear. These are probably two different band sizes. Yeah, they are. So, we'll take these out. This is the larger one, which is what I think I'm going to need. And they also come with Allen keys. So, so here you are. 
So the way you mount the front would be right on the tube. So we're going to move the rifle around here a little bit. And again, that, this other one is just the same exact thing. It's a little smaller in size. I may need that one, but we'll find out right on film here. So again, we have nothing to mount to in the front. Well, we just loosen this bad boy up. You can see the that's actually the, the tube for the cartridges, the loading gate, rather, whatever you want to call it. And it just kind of clamps right there. Okay, we decided to move the camera a little closer. I want to show you these mounts. So here is the larger mount right there. We've got the screw out of it just to show you. Uh, actually, we need to screw out to install. And here is the smaller one. So you're going to have to determine which one you need. If you've got a Rossi, like I do, you're probably going to need the large one. So we're going to go ahead and mount this. So we'll just put one side. We're just going to hold it there. Put the other side with the screw. Hold it there. And then we're going to tighten it up with the provided Allen wrench. Yeah, this is the right one for this one because it's nice and snug. There we go. <clears throat> and all we do is simply put the sling in there. Tighten it back up. Should be good. Yeah. <clears throat> and we're off to the races. We're back just like that. Here she is in all her glory. I love the way it looks. Um, for me, it completes this rifle. I've only had this for a couple months, but I've really not shot it. So I was waiting on this so I could uh, kind of complete the uh, the look that I was looking for, and it does. It uh, you've got 10 rounds here. In my case, 45. I would suggest getting the bandolier. Not only is it it's pretty comfortable with it. I mean, I think it makes it a little bit more comfortable. You got these 10 rounds right in front of your chest. Makes the gun feel non-existent. Makes it feel light. Uh, but the the look, I think it just completes the look of the sling for me. And uh, yeah, I love it. Not enough to say about it. Um, I can't wait to shoot it now, now that it's complete. Although this really does nothing for the shooting of it. But it's it just a mental thing. Um, what it would be good for, even though uh, you really can't, you know, take this many rounds hunting with you. Well, you can. You can't have them in the rifle, but uh, it's hunting. This is uh, in Ohio. 45 Colt or 45 70 are very popular because we can only use straight wall cartridge for deer. So uh, this will make a fine little hunting rifle for me. Um, or, you know, if uh, when the zombies come, I'm ready to go. I've got 10 in the tube or the chain, or not really the chamber. 10 in the feed tube, one in the chamber, 10 right here, 21 rounds of 45 ready to take down zombies. You know, Walking Dead style. Um, so, I like that. Um, and I love the fact, I can't, read it, can't reiterate enough, that I didn't have to drill anything. Well, you saw it took two seconds. And if I want to take it off, I can snap it back here. I can leave that little mount on the front, just undo the, uh, the lever the swivel and it's back to stock there's no scratches on it there's no holes in it there's no nothing i'm really picky this is only a 440 dollars gun if i've got a henry or you know some other gun i'm definitely not going to want to drill into it even my mosin nagant of course that already has a place for a sling but i wouldn't drill into that even with the beat up stock i just i i don't like to to modify the stocks i, I like the way they look uh, of course i'll refinish them like i did this one but I don't want to drill into them. I don't want to do anything like that. So be sure to check them out. Again, it's Brass Stacker, BrassStacker.com. They've got, uh, this is about, uh, for the 45, or for the Rossi, I should say, 92, this is, they've got the sling and the uh, bandolier, but they've got, for other other rifles, they've got other 
uh, other slings. Uh, so check them out. You may find something you like out there. But I thought this would be an excellent one because a lot of people have this rifle, and there's not a and there are upgrades to it. But for the sling, I mean, unless you want to drill, there's not a whole lot out there. This is perfect. Again, this is uh, there's branding on the back. We won't get close to that, but the Rick Lowe edition um, on the butt of it here. Got some more branding right there. And then, of course, the Rick Lowe in the back. Also, you get a little protection with the, the back here. If you like to bang into things like I do, like I just did, that, that helps you out a little bit. I'm hoping this brass will tarnish a little bit. That's why I chose brass. Uh, they have different color options, as I mentioned before. These are brass as well. When those tarnish a little bit, that'll make it look even better, in my opinion. So, If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please... Check out Brass Stacker, link in the description below. Email them if you've got questions. Actually, I emailed them. Um, if you saw the Mose and the Gaunt, they were helpful with that, and they've been helpful with this as well. They answered every question I had really, really quickly, and uh, you don't find customer service like that every day. So post some questions on here or contact Brass Stacker. You won't be disappointed. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and have an excellent day.